right from the time that camp starts, it's a 21 day camp and from there, uh, based on the performance there, they get selected into the family teams and at the uh, tournament there is a scouting team from the from Sai to actually scout for kids for the state. So they get selected from the, uh, you know, the, from the festival. So people who are really keen and interested understand that if they play well at the tournament, there is future for them to get into the state team. So it's, it's very well, uh, you know, managed to that extent. Also, the state. sport is a big aspirational thing in yeah. Kurg. Um, they actually look at it as a very, very relevant career option. And because once you get into playing for state teams, even if you don't make it to national teams, you get jobs with government banks, public sector enterprises. So, and plantations are not such an option. Like each family will have one, but it can't support all the kids from the family. Yeah. The only thing I missed was on a cultural perspective. I think if you just lingered more on why did hockey come to court, like court being a marital, a uh, martial race, sorry. Uh, that perspective, sorry, <laughs> that perspective would have been more interesting than why hockey as a sport landed up in cool. If you could have just dwelt on that, I think that was just a missing touch I felt personally. Why hockey is so popular in cool? Mm -hmm. I mean, we've got answers to why, you know, like, so the Kodavas, like you say in the beginning, they're a martial tribe and they're known. So, they are just naturally athletic and it's not just hockey, they actually play a lot of sports. Yeah, they also uh, play cricket, they also yeah. play football. Um, yeah, you're right and actually that was one thing that was very important in the context building because two things we needed for context building. One was to give the history and legacy of hockey for India yeah. and the other was to explain that why Kodawas naturally take to sport. Both, yeah. So, I mean, we've tried to do that a little bit in the beginning mm. but we couldn't do it much more visually yeah. through the people or people were not talking about it. Even yeah, when they were that that asking. Yeah. They were not really thinking about themselves and not saying that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, but an interesting point to note uh, with the Kodava families yeah. is there's no caste system. Yeah. So we're all known by our families. Family names, yeah. So you can be from an extremely humble background or the wealthiest yeah. person, but if you represent that family, you play mm. in the same You're team. In the same. So I think that's uh, something which was not possible uh, with other teams because mm. you, you represent your family and you're from a particular background. Mm -hmm. So you can't really play with each other but yeah. that so we cut across all those aspects through the sport so it doesn't matter what your you know financial background yeah. is to that extent. So how other communities in Kurg react to this tournament because it is only for Kodavas and there must be a I mean No they all come and watch but it's just that they can't be part of the family team but you have different people in fact there are a lot of uh, uh, foreigners who actually who started coming to watch uh, watch the festival. Um, so we are not restrictive to that. And you know, there's always some match happening in yeah. Kool. So this yeah. is just one of the things. There'll be a cricket match also between families. There'll be non-family hockey tournaments happening. So people are playing all the time. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Thanks for coming. Uh, just a quick announcement. Uh, every Saturday, as I said, we screen documentaries here. Next Saturday is uh, a holiday. So the screening is going to be on Friday, 4 o'clock. And at 4 o'clock next Friday, we are screening films, short films and documentaries made by the students of Film and Television Institute of India. Thanks a lot.